Good morning, it's the Bald Bearded Bicyclist, and we are going to team camp tomorrow in Tucson, Arizona. Um, today I'm just finishing packing up, and tomorrow, in about 24 hours, uh, we are going to be on the flight to Phoenix, and then I have to drive to Tucson. The logistics are a mess, so let's see how this all works out. <laughs> Made it to the Phoenix airport. We gotta drive to Tucson now. All of our bikes are safe and nothing's broken, so that's pretty awesome. But probably won't have time for much of a ride today. See you at Mount Lemon tomorrow. Five hours later. So after a whole bunch of shenanigans in the van pickup, we were finally picked up in these piece of crap vans that we were all a little worried might fall apart on the ride. But we stopped to get some food and then I uh, got to enjoy some of the beautiful views on the way from Phoenix to Tucson. Oh, arrived. Drew's all excited because he's never seen a cactus in person. Don't touch it! It wasn't that. I touched the flower, it's fine. He doesn't he doesn't understand. He's never seen one. Cribs Tucson Project Edition. So we decided to go the route of getting an Airbnb, work best for our team. You can find some really nice locations, not too expensive, especially when you're splitting it between a whole team. Ours had a beautiful pool. And uh, pretty much everywhere in Tucson is accessible by the awesome bike paths. Bike shop. So he basically said that, like, like the flight is not canceled yet. I might be the first one done. I don't know. Seems like I am. Just gotta pump up my tires. I'm pretty good. Despite Drew's complaints, I'm pretty sure I was the fastest one, but uh, he can fight it if he wants. We uh, got to check out the beautiful sunset in the immediate area and just get a little shakeout ride for the first day. Can you guys hear the coyotes? That's wild. It sounds like they're eating a dog. Hope not. Love dogs. <laughs> Steaks are on the grill. Got back from our shakeout ride and our grocery shopping. Got bottles filled for tomorrow. And we are gonna go in the pool. Oh, for the YouTube! He swishes it! All right, so plans have changed like multiple times today. Um, we're trying to figure out weather on Mount Lemmon, figure out what the actual ride is today, but um, we have decided to do Mount Lemmon today. And um, I think I'm gonna ride to Mount Lemmon from the Airbnb with a couple of the uh, other men that go up the climb, down the climb, and then I may catch a ride back with some of the others who are just meeting at the bottom. So it's gonna be um, a nice good day with the climb in the middle, but I'm not up for the old 128 miles with a 6,000 feet climb. Um, I think that's a little bit too much for me right at the beginning of camp. But uh, I think otherwise it's like a hundred or something like that. So it should be a really nice ride and uh, looking forward to it. All right, see you out there. Alright, so we made it to La Buzz, the parking lot. Uh, this is the where the cool kids meet up for the Mount Lemon ride. And uh, packing up our stuff, putting on some sunscreen. And uh, we were getting ready to go. So, paring down what I'm bringing, just bringing a 
wind uh, rain jacket and some gloves for the descent because I don't have enough room for the vest and the arm warmers and all that. And I probably won't need it, hopefully. We'll see. Gonna be fun. So we're maybe 25 miles into this or so, or 25 minutes, ha. And uh, we've already separated. We're riding with Jim and Tom, and uh, we got the fast group up ahead. Wasn't gonna try to hold on to them, so I let them go right at the bottom. But beautiful views already. So we are more than halfway up the climb. Um, stopped to see if uh, one of these little pull-offs had some water to refill some of our bottles. <coughs> it didn't. Um, but Jim's going to the bathroom. Um, I should be okay as far as water. I got a whole nother big 34 ounce water bottle. And uh, I know that they got stuff at the top, so it should be all right, but it's been great. Definitely watts are dropping as we are getting up here. And uh, I'm sure it's gonna get harder and harder to breathe. We are over, I don't know, we're probably like 5,500 uh, feet of elevation, something like that. But uh, yeah, it's been such a beautiful ride so far and we'll see you at the top. some uh, snacks, some fries, a sugar cookie at the little restaurant up in Summerhaven, but then I'm going to the cookie cabin. It's all good. Um, but we've got a little climb to get out of Summerhaven, which hopefully will warm us up because I'm starting to shiver. And then, uh, then the descent, so I just realized I'm gonna have to hold this GoPro in my mouth for like 45 minutes over the descent, so hopefully that uh, doesn't cause an issue. But, uh, yeah, need to warm up. I'm starting to shiver. <laughs> beautiful descent a uh, little windy a couple little scary parts but fantastic capped off the evening with little abner's a uh, really fun place cool atmosphere check it out so day three was a little bit chillier in the morning with a threat of rain so we all bundled up and headed out for a nice long ride heavy for maybe 10-15 minutes or so and uh, split up the group some people wanted to head home but uh, one two three four five of us including me continued on and it's actually stopped raining things are starting to dry out so it hasn't been too bad and it's still beautiful check this out bike path mountains can't beat that Due to the rain, we cut the ride a little bit short, caught a movie, and headed back to our Airbnb for dinner. So as of day three, we actually had the privilege of having Rich's longtime friend, Max, who is a personal chef, join us on the trip. Made the trip so much 
easier having food ready when we wake up and when we get back from rides, not to mention it was fantastic. One of the best parts of the trip. So on this day, we split up a little bit, some of us taking on Segura National Park and some of us taking on the Tucson Shootout, the fastest group ride in America. We'll catch some footage from that in a bit. We are in Segura National Park. Oh, I almost dropped the camera. Just entered and it is gorge. Look at all them cacti. And this is a fun little sign. So I'm gonna take this slow. I've been warned. Break now, Jim! Oh, that was really fun. I want to do that again. A little bit faster, though. went into Ren Coffee, super awesome people. The Seguro Park was amazing. I mean, I'll show some footage from that, but oh my gosh, those flowy descents, so much fun. Great little climb in the middle of it. And uh, you know, it's it's something, I wish we had had a little bit more time there, but we uh, had an 80 mile ride, so I didn't want to do another lap, but maybe we'll find ourselves back there again another day. Uh, I'd love to rip those descents again, it was so much fun. All right. We gotta get back, we got about 20 more miles today. So the guys that did not join us at Segura National Park went to the shootout and here you see Drew just being a beast that he is. I mean, you saw an EF rider, uh, you get some uh, just world tour riders coming to Tucson, training in the off season. Keegan Swenson is a local to Tucson. He's riding this usually on the weekends and uh, just some big hitters and uh, Drew was right in the mix um, and Larry and Hancho went out there and they uh, did their thing. Unfortunately, some dogs had to run out and ruin the day because somebody panicked and uh, hit their brakes uh, causing a crash. Luckily, Drew was okay, bike was okay. He had some road rash, but he, like a trooper, got right back up, kept riding, didn't miss a beat the whole rest of camp. So, good on him, glad everybody was all right, but not the best shootout experience. Day five, which turned out to be St. Patrick's Day, we were able to meet up with Steve Forrestell, who splits time between Buffalo and Tucson. He was able to show us some of the local routes Speaking of, if you're interested in doing a spring training in Tucson or you're going to be out that way, you want any of these routes, uh, reach out to me and I will hook you up. So after returning from the ride and taking the opportunity to thoroughly test how deep of a sleeper Chef Max is, we 
we uh, had a dinner of corned beef and cabbage to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So day six was a, another nice long ride. Uh, it actually ended up being my last riding day as uh, turns out that coming back from a week long flu where you're completely off the bike and jumping into spring training camp may crack you a bit. Um, but overall it was a fantastic trip and um, I think doing this spring training was probably the quickest way for me to get back the fitness I lost from the flu. Kind of forced me to uh, get out there and get some long rides in and uh, couldn't have had a better experience. So if you are thinking about a spring training camp and Tucson is maybe on the list, uh, feel free to make some comments some questions and um, we're going again this year. And I think we are going to optimize things just having done it once already and uh, highly suggest it. So check it out and have fun out there. Thank you.